Hey, this is good viewers. You're welcome to Rero TV. My name is Akwarero Henry Akbos. Today we are in Saple at uh, the PDP Secretariat here along Oakway Road. We have World One. Some of their members are actually protesting with placards in hand. We don't follow the work up straight from Rotomi uh, uh, Junction. Come PDP Secretariat now. We shall be talking to some of the protesters to know uh, why they are protesting and why they've decided to leave their homes to carry out the peaceful demonstration. My name is Akwarero Henry Akbos. My name is uh, Mr. Richard Oswata, the former chairman of Orange Political Party in that, the Sample Local Government. I'm now the acting chairman of Ward 1. We are here for this protest, this peaceful protest, because of our cheating in Ward 1. In Ward 1, when we do election, all the people that you see, all the non indigenous in Ward 1, we do everything possible for PDP to win an election in Ward 1. We do everything, anything we can do to make sure that we won this election in Ward 1, we, put, we do, do it. Now when it comes to the, the, to, to, uh, to, to the labor, the benefits we did, Honorable Chief Adela will tell us we should go to our village where we come from. He will say we are not an open indigenous. He did the end there. And Robo Levy, contested as a Rime, a Rikoro. Contested, he wants to contest as a Ward 1 councillor and all others. They visit all the units around, visit all the executive in Ward 1 that we want to contest as councillor in Ward 1. It's ourselves and others. At the end of the day, uh, me as an RT chairman, I visit all the leaders around. That what is the way forward for this election? What do we do? Chief Anita told me, and other leader told me, we should use secretariat, uh, uh, PDP secretariat in Oakway Road. Then we come here, we did our election here. They remain the, the, the winner of the primaries in the election. And, uh, at the end of the day, Surprisingly to us, when we submit our result to Chief uh, the IGA chairman, the IGA chairman told me that Anira has submitted a list to him. We asked what happened. He said Anira like, uh, one of uh, uh, Mr. Bajere to be the counselor for World War. We said no. One person cannot raise the hand of one person up to say he's the counselor of World War. We don't know that person in World War. We are here, your president, we did our, our property here. We will emerge this uh, lady as a World War counselor to be. He said no, we left the office. We were waiting to fight to see that whether the IGH chairman will, will change his mind. He did change his mind. So we are here to let the whole world know that if Anira is telling us we are not in Oakland that we cannot play election in Oakland land. We know the teaching. And he, he's still here, he told this guy is an Robo guy. He's an Robo lady. He also told her that he's not an Oakland person, that he must be an Oakland that will be uh, uh, a counselor. And if Anira forget that he's not, he himself is not a pure Oakland from Ogara. Those of us who are from Benin, who are from Ogara, we are here to, to destroy the Oakland name. The really Oakland, the pure Oakland people, they don't disregard anybody. So we are tired and fed up. That's why we are here to tell the world that if it's Ivanera Fair that is the owner of the party, we will know, we will tell the next district if the house is not come, if the party is not come together, and let us know our fate. PDP! My name is Peter Iworo, a legal advisor in World War. We did not do Congress in World War. And Nira just went with few people and picked one person, just three of them, with one, as a Mafuru, the former councillor of World War, and uh, the former councillor of World War, who lose to Ede in unit. He lose gallantly to Ede. He with Anira, they lose. FMAFURU lose to Shifovigo Ibuya in Unit 9. We have 16 units in World War. They lost two units. The two people is the people that combined together that we are not from Okbe, that we cannot participate in politics in World War. Only the candidate we know in World War, that's the lady we came to this place to come and do uh, our primary. She won. Before then, he visited the leaders with his father, went to Shifadira's place. His father told Shifadira, uh, Shifadira told his father that your daughter is not from Okbe. He cannot be counselor. This Wadwa is for Okbe. We don't know. We have been working in this party for a very long time. 
Because we have not have local man and local woman, they will not give us position. They will be taking position. That's why we are here. That's why we are protesting. We want the government to come to our aid. We want the government to come to our aid. If not, we will leave the party. I am Elder Chooks, former LGA member of this party. Since 1991, World One has never had it so bad. Why calling it a party of interest? If at the time to divide the spoil, people will come out together to share the spoil and then slant those who have worked. We say we are not happy and it must not continue because the man who manufactured the hydrogen bomb devised the quicker way of destroying himself. This will be a conflagration in World One. Everybody should wait and see what happens. Unless the leadership of the party waits in to do something, we are at liberty to pursue our matter to the land that we so desire. Tribalism, nepotism is not to be seen. I remember raising up that word one is a cosmopolitan word. We suffered, I fainted, three doctors worked upon me, worked on me at two days. Otherwise I'm a dead man. Then people will come together. So we are saying if you eat what belongs to everybody, you will have the hunchback that everybody should suffer. My name is Kova Ayame, the woman leader World One, Sapla Local Government. The party is suffering severely from the hands of those corrupt leaders. Those leaders that are parading themselves as the owner of the world, they have never won their units. Every, every election, they always fail their units. They have not turned the women in the world into something else. And most of the women, they are not happy with this. This has caused serious of problem in the world. That the governor of Delta State, Honorable Shavi Bobori, should come to our aid. Because the women in World War, we are seriously suffering from the hands of these leaders. My name is Rose Ogbaudu. I am the financial secretary of this, our great World One. My pain is when they ask us to do election, they said it's the ESCO and the leaders in the world, which we did very well. We didn't do that. We came to the secretariat here. Chief Daddy was our witness. Even the, uh, the assistant was, uh, their secretary was, everybody was present. We have the youth leader, we have the chairman, we have the secretary, we have the woman leader, all the sec all the escorts was present when we did the election. And it happened to be a remain ritual emerged as the counselor. But surprising to us, in Shifanira South, they raised Don Bajere. If you ask all these women here, did anybody know who is called Don Bajere? No. They don't know him. And he fed his unit. They just bring him from nowhere that he will become the counselor. And it's not done that way. That means Moki they walk, Babu they shop. I am Stella Ikekerego. I am brown and bred in this town, Sapele. I will want to say with all due respect, we should stop this self-ocracy and deliver the dividends of democracy. What is happening? If you are not an indigenous, does it really matter in this case? Non indigenous they are working. Let us not labor in vain. Let us eat the fruit of our labor. With all due respect, Umogu, His Royal Highness, your original of Okbe, come to our aid. World one. World one. We are crying for help. Chief Anira, we cannot say it's only the Okbe's are on one one. Both strangers and the Okbe's, we are all one. My name is Mr. Malaki, age of four, the Ati uh, youth leader. My complaint goes like this. In this particular world, which is World One, we have a serious issue in this world. And the reason why this issue keep on coming is because of some of our elders, most especially Chief Anira, Felix Anira. The man does scatter this World One for us. He scattered the world one for us because the way they do the world one now say he said they only the openers. Nine day world one. So we we'll call our our governor, our good governor. What we we'll get? Sheriff. This is our governor. We we'll call and make you come rescue us for this matter. You should talk. Make you talk. Put for this matter. Say because if they continue like this, 
the thing they were doing. They turn outside that room. The name now God's power, I will say. And by the grace of God, I mean be the secretary for World One. Now, all the election women say they do things. I believe say if you look at the faces when they hear, you will see all of them for every election day. Sometimes before we they sleep for night, we they, we not only vote, we they vote, and I think we they guide our votes. Before we go come out sometimes now after twelve to one for night. Now shop don't come. And they carry the shop, they go give poor no even know. Election now, just now, when they say may we do, the next say may we ask us, may we do more for the person who won't bring come for our counselor. I wish we follow what they talk, we do one. And somebody now, we do one free and fair. Free and fair. This is our sister here, Mrs. A woman, now she win the election. Now we say, okay, Mogo we'll tell our result for our guy for up here. Daddy, we she here, he say, she, I know I don't give her another result. How come? I'll be secretary another day. How come? You leader, they will talk about our election. You leader, in order there. How come? Woman leader, in order there. Acting chairman, in order there. How come? Then we say, okay, may we cry. May governor hear us. May not say they shit us. And they suffer us for World One. Maybe. We've left the party secretariat uh, along Okbe Road, and now we are at the home of uh, one of the leaders of World One, uh, talking about Honorable Sonny Mwakego. Uh, we hope to speak to him to get his view on the protests that the aggrieved members of PDP World One have taken uh, upon themselves to do today across the supply local government. Uh, my name is Honorable Sonny Mwakego from supply local government World One. I was surprised to see you people here. I don't know why. Uh, sir, this morning there was a massive protest against the position of uh, councillorship candidate in the world. world, world. And uh, we felt as a leader in the world, uh, we should be able to ask you what is happening. The truth of the issues surrounding the councillorship uh, election primary precisely is that a lot of people want to claim the name politician I was surprised when the former when Chief Felis Anira waked up one day and picked up somebody in his house as a councillor you know, representing the world, who is not the person is not recognized in this world one. And at the same time, we went to the party secretariat to conduct the election, and it was peacefully. And a lot of persons saw it on social media, you know. At the same time, this is the same person who lost his unit during the general election, the governorship election. Chief Anira did not do anything in the world. Claiming leadership in a local government, what is your impute in the local government? Before he contested for House of Assembly, he decamped from APC to PDP in 2019. And it was not up to the party for up to two years. And they gave him waiver to contest. The party gave him waiver to contest, you know, with the support from a lot of persons, he were able to emerge. Because you did not go back to House of Assembly, does not also warrant you fighting people you met in the party. I just can't imagine when a Ketika will come and say he's a landlord overnight, taking over a party. Even if you have been in the party before now, you have left the party. You are coming to the party back to rebuild or to join people who have built the party. If before now, when he left the party, if I wish the party collapsed, Chief Anira will not come back to the party. How can you be claiming leadership? Your wife is claiming leadership in World One. Are other followers your slave? We are not a slave. We've worked in this party. 
We've held the party in the local government and in the world. We've delivered. What was his impute during the general election? He should come and tell the public. We are just keeping quiet. We are loyal to the party. We respect the leadership of the party. But the leadership of the party in state level should look into this because this is what is destroying party. They should not drag the name of PDP to the mud in Saple local government. You encourage people who has delivered so that tomorrow they work harder. People who lost will also buckle up to work hard in the upcoming election. Please, we are urging the state leadership, His Excellency, the Governor of Delta State, should look into this and they should make amendments. A lot of persons are not happy. No matter the loyalty to the party, they should also look into it. You decamp to the party. You cannot come and jack leadership in the party. You are indirectly telling people that you are not a member of the party. If we want to have a general congress, which I heard he has also gone on to write executive list in the world. Who are the executive when he decamps? He was not in the party. Now, he took his own position by calling his wife and other family members to write the name of ESCO in his house, which will cause a lot of problem. It will cause a lot of problem because people have been in this party before they come to the party. We should look into this critically. And I welcome you back. We've spoken to uh, the aggrieved members of PDP World 1 concerning the protest and also uh, one of the leaders, Honorable Sonny Wakigo, right at its residence. Uh, we hope to give you more information on this issue as the matter unfolds. My name is Apurero Henry Akbos, and this is Rero TV. Thank you for watching.